heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people Hello and welcome to another 3ABN Today program. We are so thankful that you've joined us as you do each and every day. And you know, we really appreciate your support, your financial support, your prayers for the ministry of 3ABN because it's definitely a team effort. And of course, the Lord Jesus Christ supplies all of our needs, but we appreciate you. And it's always a blessing when we get to meet you in person because I mean, what we're doing right now, we're looking at you through the television screen, through this camera, but we're basically looking at a piece of glass. So it's always nice when we get to meet you in person. But if we're all faithful to the calling that Jesus Christ has put on each one of our lives, someday, if we don't meet on this earth, we'll get to meet in heaven. What a glorious day that will be, mm -hmm. won't it? You know, I don't know if you paid attention to that song. I love that song as the open plays. I want to spend my life mending broken people mm -hmm. so that mending can be what, emotional, um, spiritual, spiritual, physical, like your health. And we're going to be talking about some health today, aren't we? Good segue, sweetie. I mm. like that. Did you like that? <laughs> so that's right. God wants us to be in health. That's right. Even he as does. our soul prospers. Mm. He cares about us spiritually and emotionally, but physically as well. And that's our right. special guest today, um, the ministry mm. is no stranger to you at 3ABN, but some of the faces here associated with this ministry might be new. And it's our privilege to introduce you at home to our special friends here. Um, we have UT Pines Institute with us here today and we're going to be talking about health. We have Dr. Mark Sandoval and you are the president of UT Pines Institute. Correct. And thank you so much for being here. It's a privilege to have you. How long have you been president or how long have you been at UT Pines? I've been at UT Pines for five years now and I've been president for the last two years. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. And sitting next to you is Elder David, or Elder Dave Livermore. You are the president of the Gulf States Conference, and it's a privilege and joy to have you here as well. Thank you. It's great to be with you. So somebody at home may be saying, oh, so he's president of Gulf States. So how does that tie in with UG Pines, which we're going to get to a really neat story here. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's a great testimony for sure. <laughs> And sitting next to you is Brother Duthier Jean Pierre. And I said I'd only say his name Excellent. once because <laughs> Good job. I'm probably going to mess it up after that. Yeah. <laughs> and Brother Duthier, we're so glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. It's a privilege. And what is your role at UG Pines? I am the Assistant Education Director at UG Pines currently. Okay, that's wonderful. Yeah, fantastic. You know, so before we get to the music, we should probably find out what UG Pines is, you know, because UG Pines is kind of a unique name. Yuchi, Yuchi Pines, obviously pine trees, but tell us where Yuchi Pines is and a little bit about what Yuchi Pines is. Well, Yuchi Pines is right on the border of Alabama and Georgia. We're mm -hmm. about two hours from Atlanta, and we are a, a missionary institution that trains medical missionaries, and we also have a lifestyle center where individuals come to us from all over the world to learn how to live, reverse their diseases. We have a country life mm -hmm. restaurant and store. Uh, seminars, health education, and, and so on and so forth. And it is named after a local Indian tribe in the area mm -hmm. called the Uchi Indians. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a Uchi Indian who is working for us. Really? Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, because you mentioned then that people come from all over the world to attend. Correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's phenomenal. My family and I were there. My dad took one of the little courses back, I think, in the mid-80s, 1986, 85, somewhere in there. And I remember as a little boy, I was, I think, let's see, I'd be, I'd be about 10 or 11 years of age at that point. And I remember that, uh, I don't know if the roads are paved, but at that point, they were um, kind of a red dirt road, and they would get what we call washboard, mm -hmm. where it's just like, <laughs> like that. And I remember, I don't know how many years, that's been quite a few years ago, but uh, I remember I enjoyed my time there, though, as a little kid, uh, spending the six months. There was a training course, I think, at that time. Yes. For a six-month uh, training course with my dad and my, my mom and my sister. We were all there. But it was, we had a great time there. Beautiful part of the country mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. for sure. And the roads are paved now. Okay, they are. So no more washboard. We've had With progress in a few years. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it seems as though you guys had a really nice farm. Or I remember as a little boy, there were, were there blueberry bushes? I don't know if they're yep. no longer 
We okay. still have the blueberries. We have several blueberry patches. We do have the farm in the center of campus. Beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a joy and we can go and, and pick of the produce and the lifestyle center. You know, we use the produce at the lifestyle center and even at our Country Life restaurant in Columbus, Georgia. Yeah, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. That's and there's a little chapel. Is the chapel still there, a little church The that's chapel on is still there. Mm -hmm. It has been enlarged. Okay. Uh, so it's not as little as it was in, in the 80s. The 80s. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it can handle a little bit larger capacity. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the the conference church, which is on the on the uh, campus, uh, is in a building project currently, and mm. they're going to be groundbreaking, I think, in October. Wow, fantastic! And, uh, so I know that the uh, founders of uh, Uchi Pines tell us about them because they are not strangers to you, That's those right. longtime viewers of 3ABN. So tell us the founders. Well, the founders of Uchi Pines. Uh, the two most prominent founders that individuals recognize are doctors Calvin and Agatha Thrash. Yes. Of course, Dr. Agatha had many programs on 3 ABC. She, oh, yes. she did a great job. Yeah. And they were very popular, too. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. And uh, he was an internist. She was a pathologist, both of them working in Columbus, Georgia. And um, uh, Dr. Agatha was the first one to be caught up with the Adventist Health message. Uh, Dr. Calvin kind of dragged his feet a little bit for a while, <laughs> uh, as I'm told by Cal, their son. Uh -huh. And um, and uh, she she was very interested in the message, but recognized that it would require a lot of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. and, and they ended up doing a lot of sacrifice. A lot of their social ties and so on mm. and so forth were, uh, uh, what should I say, were severed in the process. Uh, they bought a 200-acre farm, uh, 200 farm where Uchi Pines currently is located. They wow. started a little health food store in the basement oh, of wow. their home. Mm. And that later became uh, transferred over to Country Life Restaurant and, and Health Food Store where we currently have it in Columbus, yeah. Georgia, the only vegan restaurant in, in Columbus. Oh, wow. and, Incredible. And, and the work has just grown. Hundreds and hundreds of people that have been uh, trained through the years and we have missionaries that are all over the world mm -hmm. and that are conducting medical missionary work, that are training individuals, that have started institutions and uh, it's been a uh, an inspiring work. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of sacrifice, you know, you yes. think about it, yeah, but what a powerful work the medical missionary work is. Mm -hmm. Boy, I tell you, we're getting into this already, aren't we? <laughs> we should go to some music. Who's our music? Uh, we should. Oh, and you have some I'm scripture too, don't you? I'm going to read the scripture yeah, first. Okay. The scripture here is from Psalm 103, verse 2. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, mm. and forget not Amen. all his benefits, mm. who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Amen. And I want to read verse 4, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. What a wonderful, merciful mm. God we serve. Mm. And I think about the sacrifice and dedication, as you were mentioning, Dr. Mark, of Dr. Agatha and Dr. Calvin Thrash, yes. and how God gave them a vision and a dream mm -hmm. and how that was has been walked out in reality Amen. and the hundreds and hundreds of people's lives probably thousands mm -hmm. who have been impacted and blessed mm -hmm. for eternity mm -hmm. so praise the Lord for that we have some music right now we, we want to go to and then we'll go to the rest of our interview here Jerry Lynn Mendenhall is here with us and she will be doing a song amazing grace Amen. Love 
Amen. What a powerful song, Amazing Grace. We appreciate God's amazing grace, don't we? It's a blessing. What a wonderful gift salvation is, too. Amen. Thank you, uh, Jerry Lynn and uh, CD, C.W. Garrett and E.T., too. We appreciate the musical talents and using them for the Lord Jesus Christ. What a blessing that is. And in case you're just joining us, we have uh, Yuchi Pines uh, with us today. And uh, we appreciate you being here, Dr. Mark, Elder Livermore, and make sure I get the Duthier. Jean, Jean Pierre, <laughs> did I get that right? Close? Yep, okay. That's right. But again, we appreciate you all being here. And um, tell us why the health message is important because we all want to feel good. I mean, that's obvious. I mean, all of us want to feel good, be in good health. But there's a spiritual connection as well. So just tell oh, us absolutely. why it's important. Well, you can't have a healthy mind if you don't have a healthy body. Mm. And you need a healthy mind in order to be able to understand the Word and That's to right. be able to listen to the Holy Spirit. And so uh, physical, physical health is uh, very intrinsically tied up with spiritual health. Mm. If you don't have the physical health, then, then the, the spiritual health is, is lacking to mm. a great degree. Mm -hmm. uh, and, so, and for many individuals, if they, they may not be open to the spiritual aspects, but when you touch them, and their lives are changed and their their physical healing comes about and they see that you care them care for them and you love them and and uh, you're concerned about their best good from a physical standpoint then they're open to then what you have to say from yeah. a spiritual mm -hmm. standpoint mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. uh, so it's a great entering wedge into individuals hearts so mm -hmm. that's part of the importance yeah mm -hmm. and you are the president of Uchi Pines Correct. Institute, and you've been there for a couple of years, you said? I've been the president five? for two years, two and years. I've been at Uchi Pines for okay. five years. So I know you have a family, because they're not here on the set with us, so tell us quickly about your family. I have a wife and four daughters and one son, Ooh. and we have one child on the way, and we don't know whether it's a daughter or a son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have a busy household. Yes, yeah, we do. That's great. Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So Elder Livermore, I know that uh, you are the president of the Gulf States conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you don't work at Uchi Pines, but somehow you're tied in here with Uchi Pines. So tell us a little bit about your story. Well, Uchi Pines is actually in our conference. Mm -hmm. So um, one of our pastors over there is the pastor. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, at the end of the... So there is a connection that way. There's a connection there. That's true. Yeah. That's a good point. But there, uh, maybe in December, mm. we got talking about an administrative retreat, and we needed to go somewhere in January. I'll tell you, December was pretty tough on me. I, um, I was getting pains around my heart, oh, just any quick good. movement at all. I also was really being exhausted. I mean, I'm a pretty hyper, high energy guy, always been. And I, I came out of the car from my driveway, walked into the house, and I could barely make it. And I just worked an eight hour day. Mm. And my wife looked at me and she said, what's wrong? And I said, I'm, I'm just exhausted. So I, even walking from the car to the house I was just so was tired. Wow. Yeah, just tired. Mm -hmm. And went right to bed. Well, that's not me at all. So my wife said, I'm kind of worried about you. You know, I said, oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I'm the kind of guy, just, I like my work. I wasn't taking care of myself, and it right. caught up to me. So uh, on this administrative retreat, we got talking, and the treasurer said, let's go to Uchi Pines. For your administrative retreat? Yeah. Mm. And I uh, <laughs> said, Uchi Pines? why would we go there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the treasurer just never reneged on it, just mm. kind of kept, this is where we need to go. And the vice president of administration said, I think we should go, Dave. Mm. So I was the last one, and I was pretty, like, I don't really care to go there, you know. But we went. I was the last one to arrive on Sunday night. Um, you know, Monday they drew blood and everything and they put you on a diet and it's a pretty wild place you know there's some <laughs> contrast showers and sure Ooh. there's things that happen so that, what is a contrast shower someone oh, may say well what's that oh i would love to show you what it is <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just tell you about it so contrast obviously there's something they're opposite <laughs> yes it's a true contrast between hot and cold okay and, hot uh, and cold water they, they put you on a chair and there's jets everywhere. They hit you from the, right at your lower ankles to your head. So in other words, you can't avoid it, the water. Oh, no. <laughs> and you have your swimming suit on. You're in a chair. And they just heat it up. And they heat it as hot as they can get it until you say, OK, that's good, that's good. And then they run that for like three minutes. And then they just hit it cold for 30 seconds. Oh. Do they give you a warning? Yeah, they're kind. They come down for you. <laughs> but it's coming, let me tell you. Okay. And, uh, that's Man, a shock the first, to the system. Oh, the first one uh, is just like, what in the world? Kind <laughs> you know, of makes you like, holler a little bit. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, then they, I did a Russian sauna, and, you know, but, you know, I, as, as funny as it may sound to us, uh, there was an effect on me. Mm. And, like, when you're done out of that contrast shower, the, the, the Russian sauna, they take you back to your room, and, and, and you lay down on your bed, they wrap you up in a, they have a plastic sheet, wrap you up in a blanket, and you rest for, for 30 minutes. I was so tired when I came back to my room. I laid down and just e exhausted. Mm. Mm. I slept, and I woke up, and I went, you know, I feel better. Wow. I feel better. Was this the first day? Uh, it was during the, during the, the, the five days. Okay, okay. Yeah. So if I can interrupt for one moment, Dr. Mark, so what would be the purpose of doing a contrast shower or the steam bath, the Russian sauna? How does that help your body f physiologically? Well, the hydrotherapy treatments where, like the contrast showers we're talking about uh, with the heat and the cold, it helps to change uh, or manipulate circulation. With the heat, it causes the blood vessels to dilate. With the cold, it causes them to constrict. We know that uh, the contrast treatments like that help to increase the circulation of white blood cells. It helps with the immune system's function. Um, and uh, I have used it on a number of occasions when I have been, uh, when I know that I'm starting to come down with a cold, you get that scratchy throat yeah. or, or you're feeling that kind of achy feeling and you know you're right on the verge. Mm -hmm. You jump in, get into a contrast shower in about five exchanges back and forth and uh, end on cold, get out, wrap up in bed. And, uh, and it really helps. And there's been a number of times when I've been able to avoid a, uh, an illness uh, from that standpoint. Mm. And it really helps to invigorate. And individuals that have like anxiety, depression, other things like that, uh, it also helps in that situation as well. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, yeah. Pastor Dave. Oh, no problem. Um, so, so those treatments are going on, uh, a drastic change in diet, you know, when we got there. And um, 
You know, I put in there uh, for weight loss. They, they want a reason why you're there. So I wrote down on the application for weight loss. And um, I weighed 266 pounds when I got there. Oh, wow. And so when I'm eating, you're assigned like a counselor, uh, a private counselor. Oh, that's nice. Very kind, very, just couldn't have been better for me. Prayed for me so many times. And so when I get to eat, breakfast and lunch, he would say to me, now remember why you're here. You know, so just don't load up just whatever food is there. You know, be careful. So moderation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, but then no supper, uh, no snacks, just water or tea. So pretty drastic for me. Yeah. Was it hard? Uh, very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah, have very hard. Maybe not the five days I was there, but um, when, when I left, uh, it, very hard adjustment. I had really let myself go. Mm -hmm. But I want to get back to the blood work because mm -hmm. um, when Dr. Sandoval sat down with me on Thursday, I had the blood work on Monday, sat down with me on Thursday. Um, you know, I just, you know, you kind of just, you know, I'm 66 years old. Mm. I've been a hard worker all my life. Um, you know, I'm always healthy. I'm always kind of good frame of mind. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, you look good you, now. You know, Absolutely. And, and, and I guess you just um, work hard. And of course. I, so I wasn't as careful with what I was eating or, or exercise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when uh, Dr. Sandoval sat down with me and said, uh, "You've got diabetes. You've wow. got uh, heart." Uh, trouble. Mm. You've got kidneys that aren't working right. Um, it was a shock. That? You didn't know that. Oh, no, no idea. Wow. No, no clue. So you put down weight loss originally, right? And right. here you got diabetes. Yep. Heart yeah, kidney issue. problems, heart, kidney. heart issues, wow. and then there's an. And Dr. Sandoval can explain this better than I can, but all that is terrible. But the one that really rocked me was a susceptibility towards Alzheimer's mm. and my grandmother had had it and it just robbed you know didn't know any of us didn't know my mom mm. or anything at the end and that's always been in the back of my mind you know and I had read that Alzheimer's can uh, skip a generation mm -hmm. and then yep. come back that's right. so we've talked as three boys we've talked that you know mom didn't get it yep. you know mm -hmm. so when he showed me that um, I tell you it just took my breath away oh, yeah. of course because I've spent you know, my life trying to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to lose what I've learned. So, yeah. so um, I had to leave after five days. Um, Dr. Sandoval tried to talk me into staying longer. <laughs> I, I, I wished yeah. I could have. I just couldn't. Yeah. So I, I called my wife on the way home, and I just said, uh, I've got lots to talk to you about, um, but let's wait and talk face to face. Mm -hmm. So I, 90 miles, I drove, uh, didn't get on the phone. I, I just really prayed and, mm. and thought about what, what am I going to do. Yeah, I, that's heavy news. Yes, it is. Very heavy. But the one thing, there was hope in it mm. because everything I had could be reversed. What? Oh. Everything. Someone at home saying, there's no way. I, wow. I'll tell you, I'm living proof and you can reverse so it fast. So you're talking diabetes, heart issues, kidney issues, susceptibility to, what you say, Alzheimer's? Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. You said all can be reversed. Right. Mm. And... Um, so, you know, the, the blood work and the exam they gave me was very thorough, very good. So I came home with the idea that I'll do whatever Dr. Sandoval asked me to do. I'm going to do it all. Um, I'm not going to, oh, I wish I could have this. I wish I could have, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do what he told me to do. Wow. So I took out all my, you know, they give you a cookbook and they really help you. You have everything there to be successful. So I took out all that, gave it to my wife, and I stayed out of the kitchen for three months. <laughs> oh, wow. I never walked through the kitchen in three months. Because, what's the, the reason? I just was afraid I would grab something. Okay. Yep. You know, the I was kind of a grazer. You know, open the refrigerator, I'd graze in there. Of course. <laughs> Whatever's there, you know, <laughs> yeah. just going down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then I, I did, and this is a very critical part, and they had, and Yuchi Pines emphasized this, is along with a good diet, you have to exercise. Yeah. Mm. So I started walking, you know, half a mile, uh, got up to a mile, um, got up to two miles. Wow. I uh, got great. up to three. Mm. Um, I walk about between three and four miles every day now. That's great. I missed uh, this morning, but I'll catch okay. it tonight. Okay. I'll do All it right. tonight. Yeah. 
and I just feel the, the difference. I, right now I weigh, the last time I, I was on a scale, I was 213. Oh, wow, praise from the 266, Lord. 266, and that's from January 8th mm. till today. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's just a few months. Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. just a few months. And, and I will tell you, hmm. you know, you asked me if it was hard. Uh, very hard in the beginning because the adjustment, you know, you yeah. have to be, uh, like, you can get fooled so easy and you're just eating something and you go, I didn't want to eat that, you know. <laughs> so I, w I was really yeah. careful. But um, now it's more manageable hunger mm. where that ravaging hunger is just, you know, it's just mm -hmm. crazy. You got to be so careful. But now it's more managed. Sure, I get hungry. I mean, I'm human. You know, I get hungry. But it isn't, um, I don't want to, I'm not going to blow what I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know, because I want to go out and eat Thanksgiving dinner or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to be careful. So uh, it's, it's been pretty good, yeah, really amen. good. So have you had some blood work, follow-up? Have you checked on that diabetes and the kidney issue and the heart and all of that? Great question. I, I have a doctor in Montgomery that is my regular doctor. They go, I get a, a couple of prescriptions from him a year and stuff. And uh, I just saw him mm. and I sent Dr. Sandoval the, the blood work that he did for, from me Here's what that doctor said to me in Montgomery. He said, uh, uh, Mr. Livermore, I want to congratulate you. Hmm. And I kind of looked at him like, you know, <laughs> and he goes, I don't have many people walk in here and have lost 50 pounds since I've seen him last. Yeah. And he says, you're doing terrific. Praise wow. God. Yeah, well, very, very good. And then I sent the, the blood work to Dr. Sandoval, and um, he said, boy, everything looks good, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah the, on the blood work, there's no evidence of uh, diabetes, and um, some of the heart, you know, markers with uh, cholesterol levels and that kind of stuff are looking very good, and, <clears throat> and so it's, yeah, that's definitely a blessing. And your fasting blood sugars, you had several that were in the 80s, and mm -hmm. yeah. last mm -hmm. time we had talked, and, and so it's looking really good. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's neat, isn't it, how the body actually, you know, because sometimes I think in the society we tend to think, oh boy, here we go. So then you start taking a lot of different medicines, which I know medicine has its place for certain things, but still, you know, we just start. And then we need to take medicines to counteract the effects of that medicine. And then it becomes, let's see, all the different types of pill bottles. I and mean, there's some people uh, that I know that I, I think they take maybe like 15 to 18 different pills. Yeah every morning that are counteracting different things and yeah. so it's encouraging to know that a lot of this stuff can be reversed yes. and it's interesting because uh, Duthier, right, got that pronounced right, you know we're talking, you're part of the educational part yes. of uh, Uchi Pines but what I'm noticing here is that it's just not something that's just like okay a crash thing for five days and then whew, I can go back to eating candy bars and <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Yes, uh, the goal is we're seeking to educate people on how they can live a healthier lifestyle so that when you leave, you have the tools that you can use so that you can live that lifestyle continuously. See, and that's the key, it's a lifestyle because sometimes yes. it's like, whew, I'm just on this one month diet or I'm on a three month diet and then, whew, you know, I do whatever and then I'm back to right. my old ways. It's the key is the lifestyle. Yes. True, true. We have some pictures, don't we? Oh, yes, yeah, we do. So, okay. so let's take a look. I think yeah, we have some great. before and after pictures. I think so. <laughs> okay. So this is you wow. six months ago? A yeah, ago? yeah, this would have been, um, let's see, probably in December. Mm -hmm. okay. Just before you went to YouTube. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. And this is you. Yeah, that's yeah. actually in December. I'm going. I'm in the airport. I'm going to Cuba on a mission okay. trip. Okay. Yep. I can see you've lost a lot of weight. Yeah. yeah. From Absolutely. There till now. Mm. And this is still before you met. That's my Dr. favorite Sandoval. position at home. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like an easy chair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Yes. I'm with one of my evangelism friends, and you can see I was getting pretty big. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. I can see that. And there I am in Cuba mm -hmm. with a couple of that uh, couple of uh, speakers. Okay. Nice. Wow, oh, there you are with Dr. Sandoval. Mm -hmm. yep. Look at that, you know, you look at that, isn't that amazing? When you look at that, it's just like, it's almost probably hard to believe, isn't it? That's it, me. It is, and, and you know, um, I had no Looks idea so mm. of the impact that, that I could have on the conference, on the office. We've sent several now to uh, Uchi Pines. Everybody's been helped tremendously. Uh, I have a dream of sending every one of our pastors there. I'd like us to go together and have a real retreat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's And uh, great. I think it could benefit us all so much, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the ripple effect, you know, I just want to commend yeah. you because it takes a lot of courage as a leader, 
as a mm -hmm. conference president to be able to say, hey, I'm struggling here and I have an issue here and this is where God has helped me and what God has done in my life. So mm -hmm. praise the Lord and thank you for being willing to share, you know, what God's done in your life because there's no powerful, more powerful witness than your own personal testimony of what God has mm -hmm. done. Yeah. And I think what your testimony does too is gives a lot of hope yes. because you're not the only one. Yes. You know, there are many that are sitting right now at home, you know, thinking, man, I've got a terrible report from the doctor. I can barely make it from my car to my living room couch without feeling out of breath or so tired. And yeah. here you were there just a few months ago. And yeah. now you said, how many miles are you walking? Three to four. Well, I was just in Europe and I walked in nine days. I walked 80.7 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. How many? <laughs> it's true. Many? It's true. I got that on my phone. I okay, okay. okay. How many miles? In nine days, I walked 80.7 miles. Yeah, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. And, and, and really, um, my legs came back so fast. I, this is a good point for us wow. to cover. You're never too old to start yes. a plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. wow. You know, I eat 70% raw, mm. you know, so I'm careful in the morning, have good, good uh, steel uh, cut oatmeal in the morning along with my Granny Smith apple mm. that oh, I was yeah. recommended to have. A tablespoon of peanut butter with yeah. it, some raspberries, blackberries, blueberries. Nice. Mm. And then in, in the afternoon, I have my, my uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. I always eat them first. Uh, the raw, so get as, try to get 70, 30 percent raw and then have an entree uh, of some sort. But uh, no milk, no cheese, no eggs, nothing like that. And mm. Haven't touched it. And my body went on tilt, I mean, when I started this. Oh, I'm you know, sure. I was a big egg eater and yeah. cheese and mm -hmm. kind of replaced the meat. And, mm -hmm. So, but, oh, I feel so, so much better. Oh. Can't tell you. Wow. You look good. You, you know, you yeah, just thanks. have a sparkle in your eye, good color. Thank you. Just, yeah, a lot of energy. Thank Amen. you. Amen. It's neat to see what God has done. I love the Lord, and, and, and I, I love this work, mm. and I want to be as healthy as I can to do it well, Amen. you know. Amen. So, Dr. Sandoval, I'm thinking here, too, because I know you're going to have some people, because you're a doctor, and know, so you want to be careful, because you could have someone at home say, okay, I'm not going to go to any, any institute. I'm just going to get rid of all my medicines. I'm going to jump in a contrast shower, and then you don't want someone to just have a heart attack, you know, because, right. so tell us a little recommendation along those lines, what someone should do. Well, if somebody is, is taking medication, then obviously work with your physician or the provider who prescribed the medication um, before you make any drastic changes. Amen. Um, one of the things that we do frequently at the center is uh, fasting. Mm. Uh, so we'll have individuals fast for a day to maybe three days. You were only there for five days, so we didn't have you go through the full three days. But yeah. um, The benefit of fasting. But the benefit of fasting is, is vast. There's a lot of research coming out with fasting and showing that it has effects on the immune system. 72 hours fast, looking at helping to reset some of the stem cells in the immune system. So potential implications with cancer, autoimmune diseases, and so on and so forth. Um, even as little as 12 hours fasting, mm. uh, there's benefits that uh, the research shows from that standpoint. And so, um, so there are some uh, good benefits with that, but, but um, you know, with a fast, it's, it's, it, it can be a little bit trialsome, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. <clears throat> but there are good benefits, uh, you know, benefits associated with it. And, um, and at, the, at the center with a program, um, just to change direction just no, slightly, um, when we have individuals coming into the center, uh, the there's a lot of, center? yeah, the lifestyle mm -hmm. center, uh, there's a lot of things to be overcome. You know, yes. there's a lot of uh, patterns that individuals have been having as far as their lack of exercise and, you know, mm -hmm. dietary patterns and so on and so forth. And so what we seek to do is to, to educate individuals how to live mm -hmm. and how to live the healthiest way possible within the context of the disease that they have. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, then it uh, devolves upon the individuals when they go home to, yes, uh, to follow through. Yeah, to follow through and to continue what they've learned. And the individuals that do that most consistently are the ones that we see such yes. miraculous changes in their yes. life and the, you know, and the healing processes that that come about from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. Whether it's heart disease, whether it's diabetes, cancer, mm -hmm. uh, autoimmune conditions, pain syndromes, obesity, uh, you know, mm -hmm. overweight and that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's truly a blessing to be there. But the, the key component that everybody must have, Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. It's got to hinge upon Jesus because only he can give the strength to individuals to have the consistency mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they need in their life. Uh, mm -hmm. in order to maintain that Amen. new, not diet, 
lifestyle. The lifestyle. Yes. yes. So yeah. I know yeah. we need to go to Duthier and we need to talk about the, the educational. educational system. But mm -hmm. before we do that, you were talking about the fast. Can you tell our friends at home what, what a fast would entail? Does that mean no absolutely water, no food? No food. Uh, what, what does that mean? How much food? How little? A fast is, is um, it can be done a number of different ways. Most of the research is looking at uh, individuals drinking water, mm -hmm. Good. but Good. then not eating any uh, calorie-containing foods at the same time. So you might be able to use some, you know, herbal teas without sugar and other types of things included in it. Okay. Uh, but pretty much water <clears throat> that uh, an individual is drinking and the benefits associated with that. But if you go on a fast, and getting back to the point from earlier, if you're on medication and you're on diabetes medication, and you try to fast at home mm. without... Mm -mm. That's dangerous. Right, you could kill yes. yourself because right. yeah. the medication could cause mm. the blood sugar levels to go too low right. and you could actually die. So you want to work with your physician. you got to work with your provider. Um, Come to when UT you're, Pines. Well, yes. Go and to we, the Lifestyle we have, Center. We have healthcare yes. professionals who are working with you know with individuals and so if, if we're going to be taking people off of medication, well then we know what the medications are, how they respond and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then we have a controlled environment and we're monitoring their vital signs and so on and so forth along the way. Um, but if you're doing it at home, again, work with your provider. And if you make any significant changes, let them know what you're doing because they might need to right. modify the medications. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're not on any medications, well, you can make some pretty significant changes without a lot of worry. But if right. you are on them, work with the provider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, that's great. Get that good balance there. Because right. yeah. again, the body goes through traumatic changes yeah. yes. in that time. We need to get to do the air. Yeah, and tell us about the educational part because you have the lifestyle center, mm -hmm. then you have um, some sessions, correct, of actual training people. Yeah. Yes, we do. Um, we currently have two courses, our lifestyle educator course and our lifestyle counselor course. Okay. Um, What's the difference between them? Now, our lifestyle educator course, what we seek to do is teach our trainees how they can be educators. Um, they, throughout their course, they're learning how to give presentations. They're learning the ins and outs of anatomy and physiology, things that will help them to g g be efficient in giving these presentations. So, um, you would, so you're talking like someone from their church could say, hey, I want to be an educator in my church? True, true, yes. Okay, so they could come and get some training. True, and what we're trying to do is as many trainees as we can get trained, they can go back to their churches and help their churches to be training centers, mm -hmm. educating their members, helping them to have the same understanding that they do so that we all can get this work done because mm -hmm. this is only an end to a means is presenting the gospel. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, we have our Lifestyle Counselor course in which our trainees are working, learning to work more one-on-one -on -one with persons, for example, like Brother Livermore. Mm -hmm. And they're learning to explain to them their diet plan, explaining to them their teas, explaining to them why they're living, wh how, why are they eating the way they're eating, and how is it going to help them with their lifestyle. Um, and we're also having stress management classes with them, hands-on nutrition classes with them. Um, as Dr. Mark, we have medical uh, professionals there who are giving medical lectures. Mm. All that's encompassed in the program. So like we said, that could, they can have tools that they can use uh, so that they can live a healthier lifestyle to God's glory and honor. So again, just real briefly, then explain you have two. Because yes. someone may have just said, okay, I didn't quite catch what he said. <laughs> so you have two. You have the counselor. Yes, Which the, is the one year? The lifestyle educator is going to be our one year course. And okay. then lifestyle Lifestyle educator will be our two-year course. Oh, lifestyle counselor. The counselor me. is the two. <laughs> okay. Is the two-year? Yes. Okay. Um, and you would do classes like A and P. You do A and P and nutrition. Um, and nutrition. We also go through hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy. Um, we also uh, try and incorporate the uh, chapel classes also which go through some sanctuary, Daniel Revelation, because mm. um, mm. we want them to be uh, spiritually strong as well as um, health. They have that health strength also, mm. so that they have the balance in both areas. Okay. Um, now, it, it's all encom it's en encompassed in this acronym called MASTERS PROGRAM, okay. uh, which stands for Medical Missionary, Agriculture, Self-Supporting, True Education, Revival, and Spiritual Reformation. We see that all these components are essential so that our trainees can be effective wherever they go, whether it be the mission field, whether the workforce. Um, we just want them to be adequately trained so that they can be as effective as they can be to God's glory and honor. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Dr. Mark. And another uh, key component that we're looking at with the, with the new program, the master's program, uh, that is trades training. Uh, so not just uh, training the, uh, having the trainees learning about medical missionary work, also we're going to be doing canvassing, uh, that'll be a part of the program as well, um, but also giving them a, 
a, a trades experience so that they can, like Paul, have a tent making mm -hmm. That's uh, great. Uh, support compa themselves. Yeah, capacity to be able to support themselves and be self-supporting missionaries wherever they go. And whether that's from, you know, something from a, uh, you know, from the print shop and design whether it's from housekeeping uh, as mm. a as an industry, whether it's um, uh, looking at agriculture, uh, mm. or whether it's in retail management, mm. uh, we have a number of different industries that are available for uh, for students. And as we get more uh, industries directors for other different industries, and that can expand mm. from that standpoint. But the, so that the students have not just the medical missionary mm. training and the spiritual training, but they also have a trade they that better. they are That's trained important. for as well mm. uh, to help them with self-support. Yeah, mm -hmm. for us to fund themselves so that they can live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. So then uh, I know that you said there's a one year. Mm -hmm. and the two years, so you obviously have dormitories there. True. Yes. And I know that there's somebody at home that's saying, hey, I think I want to do that. So we are going to go to an address break here in about, oh, five to seven minutes. You can get their contact information because on the website, I'm sure is where you would get the most information yes. is cost, Yes. right, and all the details. Yes, also, and um, they can find their cost, they can find the information if they're struggling to pay, they, we also have a work-study program, which oh. enables our students to go and work That's for great. a portion of their tuition, mm -hmm. and at the same time, they can receive a skill that they can use. Mm -hmm. uh, me personally, I was able to, you know, being a young bachelor, I didn't really know how to cook. Mm -hmm. So when I came <laughs> to UG Pines, I was, it had the blessing opportunity to work in our Country Life restaurant, yeah. in which oh. I learned how to cook. It's kind of like a, you know, so you get the opportunity to work in the one in Columbus? The, yes. That's yeah. great. Yeah, okay. so I started with soups. Sure. Which are pretty easy, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> and then from soups, you know, we worked our way up to entrees, and from there on, it kind of helped me make me more comfortable in cooking. Mm. So that was an added blessing. And it, it can be an added blessing to whoever it may be, whether they uh, want, it's a two, and one, two for one, we could say. Mm -hmm. uh, they learn, they get to pay for a portion of their uh, tuition, and at the same time, get a skill that they can use also. Mm. Yeah, you ought to ask Duthier about his bread. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, yes, so you're a baker now. <laughs> well, uh, being at Uchi Pines, God has given me the uh, desire to make uh, bread. <laughs> and, um, you know, through trial and error, uh, as I always tell people, me and uh, my fellow housemate, we went through a lot of bad loaves of bread before we got the good one. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them didn't taste so good. Uh, or was yeah. it hard? Did they fall? You know, you have varying issues, you know, yes. some are missing some spaces, some are a little moister than others, oh, yes. but you finally get that loaf that's just right, right. Nice. has the proper flavor, texture, just massages the palate. Yeah, Amen. that's the... Sounds you good. You can come cook for us at three. <laughs> <laughs> that bread, that's wonderful. So, so you also have a five-day, uh, like a short seminar, right? Yes, we have uh, seminars. Uh, we offer three seminars during the year currently. We have in the, the last full week of March, we have the preventive medicine and natural remedies seminar, and that one we have a lot of health lectures. We have hands-on tracks uh, in the afternoons, uh, whether it's agriculture, or vegan cooking, or hydrotherapy, massage, whatever it might be. Uh, we have uh, those hands-on uh, classes. It runs from a Sunday evening through a Thursday evening. Uh, oh, that nice. way you can, it doesn't take up a, a full mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of information in a very short period of time. A great spiritual atmosphere as well. We always have somebody in doing spiritual talks in the mornings and the evenings. And uh, it's just been a, a blessing and a tradition at Uchi Pines for the last 40 years. Wow. Um, mm. And we are going to have uh, a prophecy and medical missionary camp meeting, which will run through mm. Sunday evening through Sabbath. That's in the fall. Uh, that will be in the fall. It will mm. be in September and typically the last full week in September. But mm. check the website to, yeah. to see. Sometimes it varies by a week or so. And, um, you know, having speakers coming in, looking at where are we at in prophetic time, mm. looking at medical missionary work in context with oh, prophecy, uh, looking at mm. uh, helping to um, encourage the medical missionaries and uh, just having a time where we can come together and uh, correspond with each other. Mm. And then we will... Uh, also have a true education seminar, which usually is in the later fall, mm, uh, mm. early winter. Mm, wow, yeah, that's fantastic. You keep busy. Yes. That's for sure, yeah. yeah. So tell me about the lifestyle then, uh, the center, because I know it's relatively new, and you, you were in a, uh, Elder Livermore, you were in a five-day program, right? Right. But there are different 
different length programs, correct? Because they wanted you to stay longer. Right. Yeah. We have, we typically have a 17 day program. So every three weeks we have a new session that's beginning throughout the year. And we generally have individuals coming for the 17 days, but sometimes they can't come for that long. So they come for 10 days, 11 days, mm. five days like, or so, yeah. like, well, that's like Dave did. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so we have that program. We have the new lifestyle center. It was uh, dedicated in 2010, uh, you know, a beautiful place and uh, surroundings and settings. Individuals come in. We have a welcome meeting on Sunday evening, Monday morning. You're getting blood work done <laughs> and uh, <laughs> meeting with the providers. We put together a, a, an individualized plan for individuals uh, and it includes, of course, diet and exercise, hydrotherapy, um, other natural remedies and, you know, sunshine, fresh air and so on mm -hmm. and so forth, positive thinking. Yeah. Um, and then you have medical lectures. You've got cooking classes. Classes. You've even got bread making class. Yeah, wow. that's exciting. I'm excited about um, that. <laughs> and uh, and then you've got uh, treatments. The program, the schedule is pretty full. I think you would agree, uh -huh. Dave, that, yeah. that the the schedule is pretty full. And. Um, Lots of education that happens. You meet with the providers uh, twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays, and uh, we review the blood work. We make changes to uh, you know what's going on, mm. and uh, responding to individuals' needs and how they're responding to the program as well. Mm. And we have again people coming from all over the place, as yeah, far as incredible. Japan, and there's a lot of uh, there's some people that come from Europe, and we have a lot that come from the Caribbean, and then from the states, of course, as well. Mm. And uh, it it's just a tremendous blessing. One of the testimonies yes. that uh, people give, one of the most frequent testimonies that people give is that this is a place on earth where it feels like you're amongst angels. And it's kind Aww. of like a piece of heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, all of us working there know that we're real people. That's right. You know, yeah. And real people have real problems. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, and so we kind of look at each other and we scratch our heads and we go, well, praise the Lord, because Lord, you have to be the one that's, yeah. you know, that's doing that and making it happen. But it's truly, truly a blessing to, to be able to pray with individuals. And we bathe everything with prayer. I mean, you, you begin a, an interview and you pray with them and you end the interview and you pray with them. Mm -hmm. You begin a treatment and you pray with them. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you end the treatment and you pray with them. And, and, uh, and the Lord has taught me and has taught us so much over these last few years about how to reach individuals from the heart. That's mm -hmm. Because that's really, really the important part. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you can change the diet and the lifestyle. Yes, you can, you can make at least temporary changes. But if, if the heart's not captured and mm -hmm. if it's not changed, then, then you haven't reached anything of, of real lasting work. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. You can have, you know, centers that last a few more years and then die and are lost mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. We're not interested in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we're interested in individuals are coming to healing physically, but healing spiritually That's as well. True. That their lives may be transformed and might be lived to the glory and honor of God. Amen. And, and it's just a joy. Mm. Really, it's just a joy to be able to work with uh, work with the people and the individuals, and, mm. and and see the transformation that the Lord brings about Isn't that neat? consistently. Yeah, you know? you know it's neat too because I think you know Yuchi Pines too. You know you have the lifestyle center, but then you're also do they are training others to go out and affect others positively too in health, and that's great because sometimes it could be like okay, no, we don't want to train anybody else because we want everybody to come to you know, Yuchi Pines, oh. but you know you can't take care of everybody. Mm -hmm. So I like that ripple effect. Mm -hmm. It just grows and grows yeah, and grows. Yeah, absolutely. So Elder Livermore, I'm, I'm thinking there's someone, I know we're getting ready to go to the address break, but there's somebody at home that um, is where you were a number of months ago. They're discouraged. What would you tell to that individual right now? What would you do to give them some hope? You know, I, I would tell them that you're never too old hmm. to begin. Um, and to go to Uchi Pines if you can. Mm -hmm. You know, there are other institutes throughout the country if you can't come over to our, our, yeah. our, where we are in the south, but um, give yourself a chance. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we beat ourselves up. We all work hard, you know, we're not as careful. We, we, mm -hmm. You know, we don't have time to eat, so we run through a drive through mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But it does get away from us. Yeah. And, and the, the blessing that I have is that it was reversible. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting up there in age. If I didn't do it at this time, what would have happened? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I lose 10, 15 years of my life that I can spend loving my wife and my kids Amen. and, mm -hmm. you know, enjoy retirement, yeah. be healthy, 
-hmm. But it's just a, it's a lifestyle. It's not a diet. It's a That's lifestyle. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and, I, and uh, he doesn't look it, does he? But uh, he has actually grandchildren, and he also has great grandchildren. <laughs> he looks good, doesn't he? <laughs> Praise the Lord for what he has done in your life in a short period of time. And Amen. even for, you know, a young person, uh, you know, like myself, you know, uh, you can, um, you know, you can get busy. You know, there's stresses mm -hmm. and different things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I might not necessarily be overweight, but, you know, there's different stresses. And it's really, you mentioned the connection with the Lord Jesus Christ sure. is first and foremost. Mm -hmm. But then it's just taking care of our day-to-day our -day life. Amen. That's sure right. Is. Well, what we want to do right now is go to the address we for do. Beauty Pines. We thank you all for being here. And we will come back at the end with a closing thought from them. But mm -hmm. uh, I've just been so blessed. Me so too. blessed hearing what God is doing in and through this ministry. And we want to encourage you, if you're struggling with your health, if you need to go to a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Here is the way that you can contact UG Pines. If you want to go to the Lifestyle Center, if you want them to come speak at your church or in your community, if you want to go to school That's right. for the one year, the two year, the five day seminar, if you're interested in the camp meeting, any of those things that they have to offer, if you would like to financially support, That's here true. is how you can do just that. Millions in the Western world suffer and die from lifestyle illnesses every year. But Uchi Pines Lifestyle Center is helping their patients to improve their health one choice at a time. If you would like to find out more about their lifestyle program, visit their website, uchipines.org. That's U-C-H-E-E-Pines.org. Or give them a call at area code 334-855-3374. That's area code 334 -855. 855-3374 or write them at 30 Uchi Pines Road, Seal, Alabama 36875. Welcome back. We just had a wonderful time sharing with yes. Uchi Pines Institute. Mm -hmm. And if you did not get their address, you can always contact us here at 3ABN and we'll be happy to put you in touch with them. We just have a couple moments left. Dr. Mark, I was wondering if you could look into the camera over here and make an appeal to the audience. Well, if you are struggling with health, if you want to know more about health, if mm. you are interested in learning how to deal with individuals who have health challenges from a, from a Christian perspective, uh, if you are interested in being more effective in ministry with others, especially in these last days of Earth's history, mm. then there are a number of places that are fitted up currently in order to train individuals. Uchi Pines is only one of those places. And if the Lord is leading you to come to Uchi Pines, whether as a student member, I mean, a, a, a trainee, sorry, or as a, as a staff member or as a guest at the Lifestyle Center, whatever it may be, follow what the Lord's leading is. And if he's leading you in other directions, follow him where he is leading you to go. Yeah. God wants you to be healthy Amen. and he wants you to be like him. And so draw close to him and he will work out those issues in your life. Mm. Amen. Well said, Dr. Mark. I tell you, we appreciate you being here with us, Dr. Sandoval, and for the work that you're doing there at Uchi Pines. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Elder Livermore, for joining us and for sharing, being vulnerable, sharing your testimony, mm -hmm. but what God is doing in your life on this lifestyle change. And thank you, Duthier, for your work there in the educational part. The, of Uchi Pines Institute, and it's neat the effect that you're making in other people's lives, which will they in turn will make effect in others Amen. for the Amen. honor and glory of Jesus Christ. Thank you again. Amen. And we thank you for joining us as you do each and every day. Remember, the Lord wants us to prosper and be in good health. So let's make choices today that will bring honor and glory to Him. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.